I am here to show you the payment function. I am doing this in Access 2013. It works the same in previous versions. What we're doing, we're going to t take the sales price and determine the monthly payment of a mortgage. I'm in Design View. To do this, it's very similar to what you do in Excel. And we're going to go into the blank column to the right of the sale price. I click on the builder. I need to find the payment function. I click on built-in functions. I choose financial and I double click on payment. What it is, it's not like, like the wizard. I'm just going to move this over. You've got the rate. We don't have a field with the rate, and let's say it's 5%, 0.05, we pay it every month, divided by 12. Number of periods, let's say it's a 30-year loan, 30 paid monthly times 12, present value, and that would be the sale price of the house. You could just, what I would find the best way, is to literally type in the field name spell it right future value make just zero those out you just click right on it it deletes those little double brackets other thing too we want this to appear as a positive number hit the minus sign now what we want to do we want to give it a field name. It's going to be a new calculated field. So we click before the PMT and I'll type in mortgage payment. No spaces. Hit the call. It. Say OK. Hit the enter key again. Run it. It shows it. Now let's say you want to make it like currency, you right click, left click on properties, format, currency. You could give it a caption so it's easier to read. And you could type in mortgage payment with a space. I run it, it shows it. I want it to auto fit, just double click on it. That's all it is to do in this.